Hello, dear students. Welcome to online English school. Today, we will talk about slow machines. What is a machine? What is a slow machine? And why do we need them? Let's answer the first question. What is a machine? A machine is an instrument which makes our work easier. And what is a slow machine? Some machines work quickly. They are fast machines. And some machines work slowly. They are slow machines. For example, bicycle, cassette player, scissors, sewing machine, and typewriter. And the last question is, why do we need them? They help us every day. For example, bicycle helps you to go from one place to another. In the past, people used cassette player to listen to music. But now we use our phones to listen to music. Scissors help you to cut paper and other things. We use sewing machine to make new clothes. In the past, people used typewriter to make their writing faster. But now we use computers. Name the machine. Назовите машину. Bicycle. Cassette player. Scissors. Sewing machine. Typewriter. Yes, the machine. Отгадайте машину. People use this machine to cut paper. We used this machine to make documents. This machine was used to play music. People use this machine to go from one place to another. We use this machine to make new clothes. Look at the pictures. Can you find slow machines? Typewriter. Cassette player. Bicycle. And these are fast machines, but we will talk about them next lesson. What kind of machines did we use in the past? To answer this question, let's remember the past tense. We use past tense to talk about actions in the past. Words that show the time are yesterday, last week, in 1995, two days ago or other examples. Don't forget that we have regular and irregular verbs. This is how we make a positive sentence. For example, I used a sewing machine yesterday. I wrote you a letter last week. Use is regular, write is irregular. Let's do some exercises to practice past tense. Listen and watch. Слушай и смотри. Wait! 
cut, Kim. What happened next? The story isn't finished. Uh, once upon a time. Yes, I know. But what happened next? Pirate Pete dropped the map into the sea and the dolphin picked it up. The dolphin pushed the boat and Pirate Pete and Polly the parrot sailed to the island. Polly said thank you to the dolphin. Thank you, dolphin. Pete climbed out of the boat and shouted hello. Ahoy! Hello? Hello? Were there other pirates on the island? No, no other pirates lived on the island. Yes. No. Well, yes. A parrot shouted. Hello? Hello? Was it Polly? No. Polly listened and answered. It was a red parrot. He lived on the island. Oh, it's time for my swimming lesson. See you later, Jill. Wait! What happened next? Come back! Choose. Выбери правильный ответ. Pete climbed out of the boat. Now or past? It's past. He lives on the island. Now. A parrot shouts. Now. Pete and Polly sail to the island. Now. A parrot shouted. Past. Pete dropped the map. Past. Pete and Polly sail to the island. Past. Pete climbs out of the boat. Now. Pete drops the map. Now. He lived on the island. Past. Complete. Заполни слова. Finished. ED or D. Liked. ED or D. Pushed. ED or D. Picked up. Listened. Answered. Leaved. Shouted. Happened. Climbed. Very good. Tell the story. Расскажите историю. Which word should we put here? What is the next word? What is the last word? The dolphin picked it up or 
the pig dolphin it up. What did the dolphin do? The dolphin pushed the boat. Pirate Pete and Polly the parrot sailed. to the island. What did the pirate do? He climbed out of What happened next? He shouted hello. What did the parrot do? They saw a red parrot. This is the end of lesson number seven. See you next lesson. Bye-bye.